what's going on everybody i'm the goods on youtube all right so today this video right here is going to be a pc tutorial so if you're not here for a pc tutorial then uh you might want to click off the video now for everybody else that's still here and wants to play 2k and they want to add the new version of the hook or the more, most up-to-date version of the hook as of this video well stay tuned let's do it i'm gonna do it right here now we are looking at the nba 2k22 hook version 0.0.6 this tool is made by louis or luia louis whatever however you want to pronounce it okay so first things first um i have both the tool and the player editor plugin which is going to unlock some things for us so let's start with the actual hook we want to we really want to uncompress this file let's see how it will you can choose extract you can choose to extract the files and me i just i'm going to extract it right here to this folder here's the extracted version of the folder so now i can delete this one and then i'm also going to do the same thing for the player editor going to go ahead and extract it here if you have 7-zip i'll show you real quick how you can do it i right clicked on it 7-zip open open archive and you can literally just drag the folder over you can do it like that whatever program you have hopefully you know how to uh put it in the wrong spot but okay well it'll just stay there where it is um all right so hopefully you guys know how to extract files from compressed folders all right so we're going to start with the folder that says hook and right away there's going to be an internet shortcut e-y-e-u-c you can delete that you don't need that at all so you're going to have two folders that should be empty well one folder that should be empty i'm sorry make sure you have all of this stuff in the nba 2k hook folder all right and then the mods folder can be empty then you have these two dll files all right so what i'm going to do is copy all of this stuff over to my nba 2k22 directory if you don't know how to get there what you can do is pull up steam and you should be able to right click let's see okay well won't let me click on anything give me a second guys um okay steam will not let me oh uh close having issues with steam right now well anyway what we'll do is i'll just go over to the directory i've all uh, um i did show people how to get to the directory in another video but I'm just going to go over to, hold on one second, I'm sorry guys, you can't even see it on my screen. Alright, here's my NBA 2K22 directory folder. As you can see, I already have a mods folder, I already have a hook folder. I also have the DLL files already in here from the original version of this but i'm going to overwrite all of that hopefully nothing gets messed up but if it does oh well oh, on my end anyway not on your end all right so copying all that over into this folder gonna replace replace the files see if my mods my mods are still in there okay Everything else is still there. Cool. All right. So next, I don't need that anymore. 
Next, what I'm going to do is go back to my downloads folder, get this player editor folder. Going to come up here to where it says hook and drag this into where it says scripts. Up, oh, you know what? I can't remember if it's scripts or plugins. Hold on one second. Let's take a look. Let's Doesn't tell me here. Ah, uh, here we go. Okay, hook scripts. So, all right, so I put it in there. All right, so now I should be able to start the game, which is what I'm going to do. If Steam is working, which it's not. Okay, my Steam library is, I don't know what's happening with Steam, but there's definitely something going on. All right, so I'm just going to start the game from here. And then once the game starts up, we should be able to see some new things. Let's go back to 2K22, hook, scripts, player editor. Okay, you got the headband, language, menu, retired numbers, and shoe brand. Okay, so if I come in here, I should be able to press F8. Great. It'll let me select English. Yep. Click OK. All right. Let's see. Mods enable, plugins, player editor plus. OK. So the headband option is enabled. Unlock shoe brand is enabled. Unlock retired numbers. Is also enabled. Cool. So let's go to features and I guess we, we can mess around in a real roster. Let's see. Let's just pick any player. Go to edit player. Shoes and gear, no. Accessories? Okay, yeah, you can change the headband. Okay, great. So, yeah, the headband thing works. What else was it? Shoes? Let's see what we got. Different shoe brands, 2K. Okay. Looks like some stuff is unlocked because there's some blank shoe brands in there. Big baller brand, but no shoes. Yeah, a lot of those don't have any shoes. They've got some N ones. Leaning. Anta. Okay. Peak. All right, so, I mean, it really only adds just a few shoes. 
well, two, two or three brands. So we got that. And then what was the other thing? Unlock retired numbers. So since we're on the bulls, you guys know what number I'm going to do. Let's see what happens. Okay. So it lets him keep the number 23. Okay, cool. So that all works. And that's all we have for this video. That worked. Everything worked out. Hopefully that didn't take too long. Hopefully you guys were able to follow me and understand how I did that. I know that video was kind of boring, but hopefully it worked.